Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Something very unusual might be happening to the northeast of Scotland. It is, of course, in terms of MPs, exclusively, I think, uh, SNP. And for MSPs, it's quite a lot of uh, SNP. I think there are a couple of um, Tory MSPs on the list system, but it is predominantly all SNP. But that may be changing. Um, something happened today, which uh, I'm going to go through now, <laughs> which may just change a few votes when you consider what sort of proposals are coming forward from Edinburgh, as opposed to what is happening uh, in London. And it could even be that, you know, you could end up, it's unbelievable, you could end up with Tories in Aberdeen. Really? Could be. Well, have a look at this, because there are various proposals being laid out that may just swing the uh, swing the vote in the Tory favour. That would be absolutely astounding. And it would go to show how ultimately removed from reality the SNP is, if this is the case. Anyway, we'll take a look at this, see what's going on. But it is astounding if it's the case. Here goes. Now, I will say that words, of course, must be matched with actions. But if the actions follow his words, I think the Tories could have a little bit of a, a small renaissance, possibly, in the northeast of Scotland, which is well, it's rather astounding, isn't it? Uh, Rishi Sunak, he's up in Scotland uh, today. He's been up uh, last week, yeah, yesterday, today. And I think he's there tomorrow and he's coming back. Uh, but Rishi Sunak backs thousands of Scots jobs in northeast oil industry as he commits to more drilling. And he's talking about opening up Rosebank and all that. So he wants to increase the uh, the exploration and the drilling in the North Sea. Now, I know why he's doing it. Um, firstly, of course, because we have very high um, oil and gas prices. And if we can get some of our own out um, and make it cheaper, it will help people of Britain. It will also help uh, the export market. But also, of course, um, it's... A little spanner in the works. It's something he's committing to. Look at this. We're creating jobs. We're doing this. And we are gainsaying the Nats uh, and the Greens and the SNP who want to actually end oil production. So he's playing a blinder, I've got to say, from a political point of view. And it's not often I agree with anything Rishi Sunak does. But on this one, yes. So anyway, the Prime Minister has thrown his support behind the oil and gas industry in the northeast of Scotland as he announces that they would be licensing more fields supporting thousands of jobs, unlike the SNP Greens, who want to close down the entire industry, removing all those highly paid, highly technical, highly educated jobs. Um, some, of course, would undoubtedly go out overseas, go to um, Arabia and places like that. I have a friend. Uh, he's an engineer. He uh, not He's not a roughneck. He's an engineer. He works on the rigs, but he's like a safety and structural engineer. Uh, and he goes out all over the world. I mean, I think he was out um, in Saudi. Uh, he's got a place now in uh, Cyprus, so it's easy for him to sort of flick in and out of the oil fields over there. Um, and if you're watching Dave, hi. Um, he also has a YouTube channel, by the way. He's uh, he, he does astrophotography. Um, he's um, an excellent uh, an excellent guy. I've met him a few times now. Known him for years online. Then actually went up and met him and. Uh, turns out we have a lot in common in terms of our uh, loves and desires. He does astrophotography and I've done astrophysics. So um, I'm a fellow of the Royal Astronomical Society. Uh, one of my other little claims, that is. So uh, we had a lot to get on with there. Um, but yeah, he does that. He goes off all over the world. So he's the sort of person who can do that. But a lot of the, the roughneck jobs, they'll go. But they're still highly paid jobs. And of course, the local economy is booming because of all the money in Aberdeen. And not just in Aberdeen, but in the greater Aberdeen area, the whole of the northeast, booms because of the money coming in, hitting the local economy. Um, and so the, the SNP and the Greens want to end all this because they want to go, oh, look at us, we'll end oil production. Although I don't know why, because you can't live in a world without oil. You know, everything they do is oil dependent. Um, and so until they have um, a viable alternative, you've got to stick with oil. Uh, but I think it'll be a while before we have a viable alternative. Uh, well, anyway, seeing that and seeing how the antipathy towards the SNP and the Greens is growing at the threat of all these jobs going, Sunak, of course, has gone out there and gone, yep, I'll have some of that. 
So anyway, Rishi Sunak has backed plans to save thousands of jobs in the northeast of Scotland as he commits to future oil and gas developments in the North Sea. New research found that up to 50,000 jobs can be sustained through energy work off the coast of the country. And that's 50,000 direct. When you also take in the, the indirect jobs, service industries, uh, the tertiary industries that go along why, you know, in a larger economy, it's probably, it could be as high as half a million jobs. It really could. Um, if you've got any kind of grasp of, of how the economy is affected by sort of downfall, downfall and throughput. When you're pipelining, not oil, but money through an economy, uh, this is what happens. Um, so anyway, the Prime Minister is visiting uh, Aberdeenshire on Monday morning to announce up to £20 billion of funding for carbon capture, utilisation and storage projects, including Acorn in St Fergus. And this will work as part uh, of the UK as part of the drive for net zero. Um, one of the problems, I always say, one of the problems with um, the banning of cars, for example, is what are they going to do with the petrol? Nobody seems to know. Nobody's got an answer for that. And I'd like to know. So if anyone out there works in the oil industry watching this, what will they do with the petrol when all the cars are electric? Because when you're cracking the oil, you're still going to have petrol and diesel and you can't store it. And you can't let it into the atmosphere. It's worse as petrol fumes going into the atmosphere than, um, than burning it. And of course, massive explosion risks, health and safety risk. So what are we going to do with the petrol? Uh, anyway, this uh, this news has been welcomed by even the SNP, who have described it as a positive step in the right direction. Although they're the ones who want to close down the oil industry and don't want any more um, oil exploration. They want the current fields to run dry. This is what they've said. It, you know, so the people of up in Aberdeen, Aberdeen, you know, the Greater Aberdeen area, and that. They're seeing the SNP commit to not opening new fields, commit to reducing the existing infrastructure, reducing our dependence on oil, and taking out eventually the whole oil field until Aberdeen has gone, it is bereft of oil. They haven't proposed anything to replace it. Meanwhile, Sunak's up there going, yeah, no, we're, we're going to commit, mate. We're going to do this, we're going to commit. Well, come the next election. <laughs> come the next election. Who do you think these people are going to vote for? People that want to put them out of a job or the people who want to keep them in one. Now, you'd have to be an idiot to vote for the SNP at the best of times. But boy, how stupid do you have to be to vote for your own, for your own unemployment? Anyway, Mr Sunak also committed to the future of oil and gas licensing rounds for the North Sea, which sustains thousands of jobs in Aberdeen and Aberdeenshire. And it is the exact opposite to the Scottish Government, who floated to proposals to completely shutter the industry within the next 50 years. Uh, and of course, it isn't like, oh, we'll go 50 years and stop. You'll be taking it on a gradual decimation down, reducing it each year, not creating jobs for people in the area. Now, Aberdeen is a big place. It needs a lot of jobs. I mean, I've gone down Union Street a few times and, you know, you see the wealth there and the people are enjoying themselves. You know, I've had many a good night in Union Street. Um, and that's because there's money. Imagine all those big top paid jobs gone. Union Street would be like dead. The whole of Edinburgh, Edinburgh, the whole of Aberdeen would die overnight because it's just no people wouldn't have the money. It'd go to ghost town, you know. Anyway, the UK government, together with the North Sea Transition Authority, stressed the, that future licensing would continue to be subject to climate compatibility tests. Mr. Sunak insisted that these new licensing rounds were absolutely the right thing to do, though. He told BBC Scotland, well, until you can get, like I say, a viable alternative, you've got no option. Um, anyway, he told Scotland's Good Morning Scotland programme, even when we reach net zero in 2050, a quarter of our energy needs will still have to come from oil and gas. Not just energy, all the other stuff, plastics, you know, clothing, oils, lubrications, so much medications, herbicides. There is so many uses, 30,000 uses for oil, of which... Energy is one. Uh, anyway, the Prime Minister added, this is about strengthening our economy, uh, sorry, our economic security and energy security for the whole of the United Kingdom. We've seen over the last year the impact of Putin's war and we don't want to be in hock to dictators like that when it comes to our energy. And an important part of guarding against that is investing in our North Sea. Energy, energy supply, and I would also argue steel production should be removed 
from all forms of control by other countries. They should be made national security issues. You can't build a battleship if you haven't got steel. And so having a steelworks is absolutely necessary. And so the st they should have the steel, British steel should be nationalised. And even, even if we're making a loss on it, it should still be allowed to continue, even at a small scale, to keep the, the furnaces open simply for national security. And as for energy production, absolutely national security. Germany screwed, gets rid of all its uh, nuclear power, gets rid of everything and just buys all its gas and all its energy from that nice Mr. Putin. Trump laughed. Trump said, you'd be in trouble if you do that. And they all laughed at Trump. They're not laughing now. Uh, anyway, um, he said, that's why today's announcement, this is uh, Rishi Sunak saying, uh, that's what the announcement is about, making sure we have future oil and gas licensing rounds. Also, if we took coal out the ground, we could we could last for about 20,000 years of coal. We've got five to 6,000 years of shale gas. Um, you know, if you go and shale gas it, you know, all over the bloody place. Uh, but the environmentalists don't like that either. But when they're sitting there freezing to death and their economy's in the toilet because there's no energy, you know, are they going to be happy then? Probably not, they'll be dead. But, you know, that's how it is. We, we are an island of coal and gas and oil surrounded by fish. The problem we've got is neighbours who keep coming and stealing it. Get the Royal Navy, quadruple the size of it, have them permanently whizzing around Britain's coast and keeping all the foreign fishermen out. Tell you what, we'd never have an issue again. We can pull as much coal out and burn it and it would make no difference because even if we burn all the coal, it's still nothing compared with what China are doing. So it's all bullshit. Anyway, SP, SP, SNP Westminster leader Stephen Flynn, meanwhile said support for Acorn was excellent news for the northeast of Scotland. Not saying, of course, that he intended to destroy the oil and gas industry. Mr Flynn, the MP for Aberdeen South, told, and the, for the moment, told the BBC Radio Scotland, I think in anything that comes from the UK government, the devil will be very much in the detail, but I don't think anyone can step away from the fact that this is a positive step in the right direction after 18 years of dither and delay. Yes, but what he's not saying is his government wants to end oil production and put everyone in Aberdeen out of a job. Fantastic. Anyway, come the next election, who knows? Who knows? You might have England totally abandoning Tories and the northeast of Scotland adopting them. It'd be a weird, weird setup when they could, you could have more Conservative MPs in Scotland than you would in England. Now that would be. An absolute shock. Anyway, I'm going to round off and come up. Yeah, I think um, Rishi Sunak may have turned the corner because he's starting to support oil and gas there. And there was another story this morning where he was uh, that he's allowing himself to be talked out of um, the low traffic neighbourhoods. He's saying that people should have the right. It shouldn't be imposed by councils. It must be a democratic vote by the people of the area. So he's looking at that. Uh, and then also there's people talking about backdating the, the car ban, the the, the uh, sale of new uh, petrol and diesels. And he's kind of pushing now that he's agreeing to go with the European wide one of 2035, which will give him an extra five years. So you'd be, what, 13 years or 10 years, 12, 12 years away from now, um, which will give me time to buy a, a you know, a big, I don't know, 6.3 litre Mercedes S-Class or something uh, just before the ban. Um, just out of badness, you know, just just, just so I could. Because <laughs> I'm a sod like that. Um, and then everyone else can sit there with electric cars and going, oh, I can't travel, I can't go. My car will do 700 miles easy out of a tank of fuel. And um, it takes about, I don't know, five minutes to fill a tank. You've got an electric car. You ain't gonna, you're not going to catch me, are you? Anyway. Um, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you're seeing here on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, stay well, and prepare for a Tory government in Scotland. Yay. Bye.